My name is Sunny. I go by Sunny. Um, I'm from California. I deployed originally to Florida, and uh, when the hurricane moved, uh, they moved us resources up further to North Carolina because Hurricane Matthew moved. I work in health services. I've been a nurse um, with Red Cross all the way back to 1981 when I graduated. Um, I've even just been part of an assembly line to hand out water back in the day of uh, Hurricane Katrina. There's no job too small or too big. This week um, I completed uh, my assignment with health services. Uh, my time was up and I had more time to give so I re-upped and I offered another week and the need was uh, here in uh, case, case client casework to help find resources for the clients, for our people out there in the, in the shelters that uh, are going to have to find a new normal, a new place to go. And I'm trying to help fill those gaps, finding transportation, finding a little bit more permanent or even temporary housing somewhere else while their places can get fixed up. After having um, some experience in Florida, which was new, in all my 38 years in Red Cross, I had never been handed a fatality list to try to help find, locate even where the families were in the middle of the chaos. And I was able to do some good work there in locating, uh, ferreting, it out, ferreting it out just to even get some clues as to where to find families so that we could, because Red Cross actually has help uh, that they can offer to families of the deceased. So, And as a result of that experience, actually on the job was able to take a class called ICCT, offered by Red Cross, which means Integrated Crisis Care Team, and able to learn, you know, the right ways to actually do that job. And then as a result of it, um, I went back into a shelter here in North Carolina and uh, met a client that broke my heart. Um, no names, um, but a young lady who was only 27 and had lost a couple of children about 11 months apart. I, I don't know what happened to those babies, but she was, she was in the process of grieving from those babies when this hurricane hit. Mm -hmm. And in the, when the hurricane hit, she woke up in the middle of the night to find everything flooding. And they had to get out and run pretty much with whatever they could grab. And uh, her shock and grief in the shelter was the realization that she had lost everything that had connected her memories to those lost children. Um, the flood had washed away toys, clothing, little rattles, pictures, everything that she had of the, of the kids. Um, which is a pretty heartbreak. She was pretty, I mean, I, I can't even imagine myself what that must have been like. And I was able, because of that training, to connect what we have, which is that spiritual care team, to hook up with her, to offer some kind of offering of uh, human condolences. Um, there are folks that need to get to a new place to stay um, as soon as possible. I'm working on the resources and client casework to help them find the means to get to these other places, uh, the addresses, the, the transportation, maybe just locating a taxi cab that will still run in this community at the moment is, is challenging. So that's what I'm working on immediately today. Red Cross is a family. I'm very proud to be part of it. That's about it.